Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna show you how to install a Leviton smart switch, which we've got right here. This is a Leviton Wi-Fi smart switch that allows you to turn it on and off from your phone just like this. It also works with Alexa, Google Home, and Siri voice commands. So this is the Leviton D215S smart Wi-Fi switch. It does require a neutral wire for installation, so if you don't know what that is, check in the description down below. So let's get started installing this. So in order to do this, the first thing that we need to do is turn the power off to our existing light switch down at the circuit breaker. So we've already gone down to our circuit breaker and turned it off and confirmed that there is no more power to this circuit. You wanna make sure the power is off before you start working on anything. Now that we've got the power off, we're just gonna remove the two screws holding the cover plate on here. Now that we've got the cover plate off, we can remove this light switch. Once again, confirm that you've got the power off at the circuit breaker and that there is no live electricity going to this light switch. Now that we've got the power off, we're going to remove the existing light switch just by taking out these two screws here. Now that we've got the screws removed and we've confirmed the power's off, we can pull the light switch forward out of the junction box to inspect the wiring. So now that we've got this out here, let's take a closer look at the wiring. So before you do anything else, take a picture of your existing wiring. On your light switch on the bottom, the incoming wire should be your hot wire, also known as your line wire. If you don't have it marked yet, Get a little piece of electrical tape and mark it with that so that you know which one is your hot wire. Now the light switch, if it is wired correctly, the wire coming out the top should be your load wire. And that is the wire that goes up to your light fixture. So the incoming line wire or hot wire, that's at the bottom, that is the incoming power. And the outcoming power or electricity to the circuit is going through the switch and that goes through this load wire which goes up to the light fixture. Now you've got this white wire here and that's your neutral wire. The smart light switch that we're installing today does require a neutral wire for installation. Most homes built after 1980 are going to have a neutral wire in the switch box. But if you don't have a neutral wire in the switch box, there are other light switches that are compatible that don't require a neutral wire. Take a look down in our description below and those will show you exactly what works without a neutral wire and we've got videos that show you how to install them. This particular switch is a Leviton smart light switch. So we'll include that in the description below as well. Now that we know what our wires are and we've got them appropriately marked, we can remove them from the existing switch. So the other wire we have here, this unshielded wire, the bare copper, that's our ground wire. And in some cases it's going to be a green wire. So ground is either green or unshielded copper like we've got here. And your neutral wire is going to be the white wire always. If you're wiring is wired correctly. Now let's take off these existing wires and we're going to remove them. In order to do this, you may need to unscrew these two screws here if the wires are on the side of the switch, but our wires are backed wired. So that means that we need to put something into these two little slots here and that will release the wire. We've got both of our wires released and I like to fold the hot wire or line wire down and the load wire up. Now we've just got to remove the ground wire. Now that we've got the existing switch removed, we're ready to wire our new smart light switch. In order to do this, we're just going to connect the wires that we've got marked to the wires that are appropriate labeled on the back. So we've got our line wire, that would connect to this wire down here. We've got our load wire, that's this red wire, that would connect to this load wire up top here. We've got our green ground wire, and you can see it's got its name right there, ground. We'd connect that to the unshielded green or copper wire right here. And then we've got our neutral wire right here, that's this white wire. So if you take a look down here, it does say that's the neutral wire. And then you've got one extra wire, that's this 
orange or yellow wire, and that's a travel wire meant for three-way light switch applications. This is not a three-way light switch. A three-way light switch is where you've got two light switches that will control one set of light fixtures. Typically, you find that at the top and the bottom of a stairwell. So let's get started installing this. I'm just gonna take my green ground wire and connect it to my green ground wire over here or my unshielded copper wire that is the ground wire. So just wrap those two together and then I'm gonna take a wire nut and screw these in place. Now we've got our line wire or our incoming hot wire. We're going to connect that to our line wire or incoming hot wire right here that we've got marked with that little piece of electrical tape there. And we're just going to screw these two together. Make sure you get the wire nuts on there nice and firm and that you get those wires twisted together so that they are not going to pull out. Now we've got our neutral wire right here. That's this bundle of white wires. So we're going to remove that existing wire nut. And now we're gonna wire in the neutral wire from the light switch. Sometimes it helps to have a bigger wire nut uh, when you're wiring more than one or two wires together. So we're gonna use a bigger wire nut here and we're gonna screw that together and then put the wire nut in place. Okay, we've got our neutral wire wired together and now our last wire, this is our load wire. This is the wire that goes up to the light fixture. We're gonna screw that together with the load wire in the existing junction box. So take those two wires, wrap them together and then put that wire nut on. Now we've got all of our wires wired up for our new Wi-Fi smart switch. What we're gonna do now is fold these wires back into the junction box, and then we're going to attach these switch to the junction box. So let's fold those in place here. And now we can install the switch. We're gonna get it lined up with the junction box there and then screw these two screws in. Now that we've got the light switch installed, we're gonna put our cover plate on and then we're going to screw that in place. The cover plate that comes with the device is a screwless cover plate. So we just snap that over the cover that we put on there and it will snap in place. And now our smart light switch is installed and we can go restore the power at the circuit breaker once we restore the power, we're ready to set this up on our phone so that we can control this smart Wi-Fi light switch from our phone remotely. When I turned the power back on at the circuit breaker, the light switch started blinking green and powered up, which means it's ready to set up. This particular light switch is a Leviton Decora Smart Wi-Fi light switch. So in order to get this one set up, you're going to need the Leviton app. So if you don't have that, download that now, and then you're ready to get this set up. So I'm gonna click on the Leviton app and you're gonna need to create a username or password. Once you're in the app, you're gonna click on the upper left-hand corner here, and that's going to allow us to add a device. So make that selection down here. Now it says, what are you setting up? We're setting up a smart light switch. So we're gonna click on switch right there. Now this is a second generation switch, which is their latest generation. So I'm gonna click on this. This is the D21 5S. Now it says before we start, is your switch installed in the LED flashing green? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna click, let's go. Now it found my device. I'm going to click right there and click next. Now it's looking for my Wi-Fi network and I need to make a selection here for the Wi-Fi network I'm going to connect to. Now enter your Wi-Fi network password and click next. Now the smart light switch is connecting to our Wi-Fi network. Okay, we can choose a symbol for this. I'm going to click that one and click save. Now it says edit device name. We'll just leave this as switch and click next. We can put this in a room, but I'm going to skip this step for now. Now it says this smart light switch works with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, if this, then that, which means that you can use it with voice commands to control it. So I'm going to click finish right now, but you could connect those later. So here's our smart light switch that we installed. And now if I click right here, I can turn it on and off right from the app. So that is how you install a smart light switch. Now this particular light switch does require a neutral wire for installation, 
but it has been very reliable in my testing. Now there's also smart dimmers that you can install and there's a wide variety of smart light switches that you could install. We've got videos on all different types of smart light switches you could install. So check those out in the description below or if you want a comparison. However, these ones have worked really well for me and I'm happy with it. If you go in here, you can also change a few of the settings. You could change the name. You could also turn it on and off right from the phone here and you can change your auto shut off so you could have it so it turns off automatically after a certain period of time. So thank you for watching this video on how to install a Leviton smart switch. If you wanna pick this up, this is the Leviton D215S smart switch. It works on Wi-Fi. It does require a neutral wire as we showed you here, but overall it has been a very reliable switch in my testing. You can take a look in the description below. We've got a full review on this particular switch and it'll tell you everything you wanna know about that. So thanks again for watching this video on how to install a Leviton smart switch. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.